Hello friends. In this lecture, we are going to talk about a Rabin crypto system or also known as Rabin public key encryption. Okay. So uh, the Rabin crypto system is an asymmetric crypto cryptographic technique whose security is exactly like that of RSA and is also related to the difficulty of factorization. So, however, the Rabin crypto system has the advantage that the problem on which it relies has been proved to be as hard as integer factorization, which is not currently known to be true of the RSA problem. It has the disadvantage that each output of the Rabin function can be generated by any of the four possible outputs. Now, how four possible outputs that we will be talk, talking later on. And if and if each output is a ciphertext out of those four possible outputs, if each output is a ciphertext, then extra complexity is required on decryption to identify which of the four possible output inputs was the true plain text. Okay, because as we will be having four outputs, so it will be quite difficult to calculate like which one was the main plain text entered or the main plain text passed. So here what happens is we have n, okay, and it is divided into p into q as we all know in RSA p into q gives us n. So here what the rest restriction is that always p should be equal to p mod 4 should be always equal to 3 as well as q mod 4 should be always equal to 3. This is the restriction in Raven crypto system which should be followed or else it is not possible to solve further. Okay, so when Alice sends the message to Bob, what happens is that Alice sends it in a method message raised to 2 mod n to the bob by encrypting it okay now how should bob discover or how should bob recover this message how will he read or decrypt its message so how, how what happens is that bob uses the method as under root of c here we can say it is equal to c so under root of c mod n will be the method by which Bob will recover the message. Okay. Now, what if we want to speed up the calculation of this root C? So here comes the possibility of those four outputs or four inputs that we that I talked to you in the introduction. Okay. So how to speed up the decryption for uh, root C mod n? So what you can do is that you can take mp is equal to root C mod p and mq is equal to root C mod q. Now what happens over here is that it becomes plus or minus C raised to p plus 1 by 4 mod p plus or minus c raised to q plus 1 by 4 mod q. This is the formula to find those four values. So here you can see plus or minus c raised to p plus 1 by 4 two values and plus or minus c raised to q plus 1 by 4 mod q another two values. So total four outputs. Okay. So this four combinations this four combinations we get and we have to check which one is right from this four combinations okay to solve this thing again we will be taking the help of Chinese remainder theorem okay so let us take an example to make it clear or to get it understand properly okay so let's take an example where we have p is equal to 7, q is equal to 11, 
c is equal to 23 we need to find m okay so what will be the n n will be equal to p into q which will be equal to 77 now what was the restriction that we need to check so it was p mod 4 q mod 4 should be equal to 3 if this satisfies then and only then we should move forward so let's check 7 mod 4 so 7 divided by 4 minus 1 into 4 equal to 3 okay p equal to 7 satisfies for q 11 divide by 4 minus 2 into 11 oh sorry into 4 we should do so 11 divide by 4 minus 2 into 4 is 3 so yes both p and q satisfies they they clear out the restriction so this is fine we can solve it further so now what happens is that for mp we have the value as plus or minus 23 raised to 7 plus 1 by 4 mod 7 by the formula c raised to p plus 1 by 4 mod p so here we have c as 23 and p as 7 okay so mq will be equal to plus or minus plus 1 by 4 mod 11 here you can see we can do mp is equal to plus or minus c raised to p plus 1 by 4 so here we have our c as 23 and p as 7 so 23 raised to 7 plus 1 by 4 mod 7 and mq will be equal to plus or minus 23 raised to q plus 1 by 4 mod q so here we have q as 11 so 11 plus 1 by 4 mod 11 okay so if we calculate it we get mps so it will be equal to 7 plus 1 8 8 by 4 2 so 23 square mod 7 what will be the answer let's check 23 square mod 7 minus 75 into 7 Will be equal to 4 so mp will be equal to plus or minus 4 and mq will be equal to 23 raised to 11 plus 1 12 by 4 3 so 23 into 23 into 23 because 23q we will get here mod 11 so 11 minus 1106 into 11 0.9999 equivalent to 1 so it will be equal to plus or minus 1 mod 7 mod 11 so now how will we get four possible values so this is how we will get it so m1 will be equal to mpmq 4 mod 7 1 mod 11 okay m2 so for m2 it will be 4 mod 7 and minus 1 mod 11 for m3 mp and mq will be minus 4 mod 7 1 mod 11 m4 will be mpmq minus 4 mod 7 minus 1 mod 11 so basically what we did here is we just took the four possible outcomes so plus 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 minus minus plus and minus minus so this is this is what happened plus 4 plus 1 plus 4 minus 1 minus 4 plus 1 minus 4 minus 1 okay so what we will be doing is that we will be checking just one case so let's go with the m1 because both of them has positive one so it is easy easy to solve 
So this M1 we will be solving using Chinese remainder theorem. So solve M1 using CRT. So it will be equal to x 4 into 11 into 11 inverse mod 7 plus 1 into 7 into 7 inverse mod 11 whole mod 7 into 11 which will be equal to 77 okay so if we calculate now we have to calculate the 7 inverse mod 11 and 11 inverse mod 7 as well okay so let us do that q r1 r2 r t1 t2 t q r1 r2 r t1 t2 t okay so for 11 inverse mod 7 and 7 inverse mod 11 here you can see that the inverse value is greater than the mod so we have to bring this value inside the range of mod 7 which is equal to between 1 to 7 okay so what we will be doing we will be doing is additive inverse so 11 minus 7 is equal to 4 so we can also write it as 4 inverse mod 7 so what r1 r2 will be 7 4 so quotient will be 1 remainder will be 3 shift 4 3 1 1 3 1 3 0 1 0 0 1 the formula for calculating t is q1 uh, t1 minus q into t2 okay it is t is equal to t1 minus q into t2 so minus 1 shift them 2 minus 1 2 minus 7 2 minus 7 so for 11 inverse mod 7 the answer is 2 and for 7 inverse it will be 1 4 7 4 3 1 4 3 1 1 3 1 3 0 1 0 0 1 minus 1 it will be 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 11 minus 3 okay this is how it is going so minus 3 is the final answer now we all know that negative should not be the answer so what we do to get it positive additive inverse so here our modulo is 11 so minus 3 plus 11 is equal to 8 so 7 inverse mod 11 will be equal to 8 and 11 inverse mod 7 will be equal to 2 so place those values so x is equal to 4 into 11 into 2 plus 1 into 7 into 8 mod 77 so 11 fours are 44 to 88 plus 7 is a 56 mod 77 so x is equal to 88 plus 56 mod 77 minus 1 into 77 is equal to 67 so for m1 our answer is 61 you can try by solving m2 m3 and m4 as well okay so this was all about rabin crypto system thank you